Number 10, Will Smith and Margot Robbie. In 2013, Star Magazine published a bombshell allegation that Will Smith was caught cheating with his co-star Margot Robbie when they worked together on the movie Focus. The report actually claimed that in photo booth pictures that they found and published on their cover, Will appeared to be shirtless and Margot lifted up her own shirt to reveal her lingerie. The magazine also claimed that after they pulled the curtain back to take the pictures, they were getting very touchy-feely with each other in the dark. The scandal was massive at the time because Will is married to Jada Pinkett Smith and back then they had yet to admit to having an open relationship. But the rumours soon died down as E! News revealed that the pictures were commissioned by a production and that the entire cast and crew saw them being taken. It also came out that Will and Margot are absolutely just friends and there was nothing else going on between them. Even Margot was quick to deny everything on Twitter, quote, there's absolutely no truth to the ridiculous rumour. It's disappointing that goofing around on set could be taken so out of context. Well, people do tend to jump to conclusions. Number 9, Dominic West and Lily James. The actors were at the height of scandal when they were photographed getting cozy in Rome, all while filming their new series of Pursuit of Love in 2020. The pictures show the stars kissing, sitting at a cafe, standing on the Spanish steps, and riding tandem on a scooter looking very much to be on a date. Although Lily was single at the time, Dominic has been married to Catherine Fitzgerald for 10 years, and they have four children together. A source told The Sun that when Catherine saw the pictures, she was devastated and tried to get a hold of her husband, but he wasn't answering his phone. She was reportedly shocked by the whole thing because she didn't realize anything was going on. But only a few days later, there was a photo taken out the front of the couple's home with a note saying, Our marriage is strong and we're very much still together. Thank you. Since the incident, James has kept quiet and cancelled various interviews to promote her latest film, Rebecca, which is probably a good decision considering the fact that both parties have not yet publicly talked about their affair since it occurred. Number 8, Chad Michael Murray and Paris Hilton. In 2003, Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush fell in love while filming the TV series One Tree Hill. Two years later, they were married. However, they separated just five months later when rumors swirled that Chad had cheated on his wife with Paris Hilton, his co-star on the film House of Wax. During the time he and Paris both worked on the horror film together, they reportedly had an affair, according to Backstreet Boy Nick Carter, who was dating Paris at the time. But after separating, Chad and Sophia still had to keep working together for another three years on One Tree Hill. If that's not awkward, I don't know what is. It wasn't until 2011 that the actor decided to rethink the way in which he was living his whole life. Quote, when you're young and you're thrown into something that I was definitely not ready for, I'm human and I screw up. But his ex-wife definitely took the whole affair much harder and it's clear that his actions really affected her in the long term. In 2017, she wrote in Cosmopolitan that the scandal was a massive event in her life and the trauma of it was amplified by how public it became. She has also said that she feels the marriage was a joke and it did nothing but reduce her to a Hollywood statistic. Ouch. Number 7, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Jen and Brad got married in 2000 in a lavish Malibu wedding and things were perfect for the Hollywood id couple until they suddenly announced their divorce in 2000. 2005. What happened exactly? Well, long story short is, Brad met Angelina for the first time on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and the rest is history. Apparently the movie was filled with so much romantic tension, it was impossible for the two stars not to fall for each other. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is probably the sexiest spy movie to ever exist, so it's easy to see how everything went down. But the problem was that Brad was still married to Jen. But he didn't let that stop him, and they allegedly still got together despite his marriage. To add insult to injury, he said about his marriage to Jen, quote, I was trying to pretend the marriage was something that it wasn't. I'm satisfied with making true choices and finding the woman I love, Angie, and building a family that I love so much. That sounds pretty harsh, but it turned out that Brad and Angelina's relationship wasn't just a fling, and they actually went on to date for many, many years and had a large family before finally getting married in 2014. The love triangle was one of the biggest celebrity scandals of the early 2000s, and it still dominates the tabloids to this day. Number 6, Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. The actress and writer Carrie Fisher was never one to hold back when she had something to say. And in 2016, she shared a fascinating piece of history in her own memoir called The Princess Diarist. According to Carrie, she had a brief but very intense affair with her Star Wars co-star Harrison Ford while they were filming the movie in 1976. But what's really quite troubling is that People Magazine reported that she was just 19 years old when the three-month affair 
affair took place. While Harrison was 36 years old and married to his wife of 15 years, Mary Marquard. To make matters worse, the couple also shared two kids together. In terms of sneaking around, Carrie actually said, quote, it was Han and Leia during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. She also explained to The Guardian that the affair between them had eventually come down to unreciprocated love. She said that she'll always feel something for him. The Star Wars actress was so young at the time that they got together, and although she must have known it was wrong, it's hard to say that the blame rests completely on her. What's even sadder is that after Carrie died in 2016, Harrison never fully confessed to the affair, probably more out of shame for cheating on his wife. Number 5. Ewan McGregor and Mary Elizabeth Winstead The co-stars brought their on-screen romance into the real world after working together on the FX series Fargo. The pair appeared on season 3 of the anthology crime drama, which debuted in April of 2017. Only a month later, the actress announced on social media that she had split from her husband of 7 years, Riley Stearns. Following her separation, Winstead was spotted on a date, hooking up with McGregor in London. And cheating rumours were flying because although she was single, he was very much not. The train spotting actor was still married to Eve Mavrakis at the time, with whom he shares four children. After the Emmy winner was spotted getting cozy with Winstead, fans began to wonder about the status of his marriage. But it wasn't until January of 2018 that his now ex-wife filed for divorce. But while the two managed to keep their romance relatively private, their relationship raised eyebrows even among their family members. In fact, in August of 2018, McGregor's daughter Clara had some strong feelings on the new relationship at the time. She took to Instagram to comment on a Mary Elizabeth Winstead fan page, quote, most beautiful and talented woman on earth? Oh man, y'all are delusional. This girl is a piece of trash. Wow. Number 4. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman Although it's been over for decades, Nicole Kidman's marriage to Tom Cruise is still one of Hollywood's most talked about relationships. Cruise met Nicole Kidman on the set of the movie Days of Thunder, and the pair were instantly smitten with one another, and they soon started engaging in a torrid love affair. But at the time of meeting, you guessed it, the Top Gun actor was still married to Mimi Rogers, whom he wed in 1987. As it became clear that the affair was more than just a simple fling, Tom developed divorced his first wife in February of 1990 and less than one year later, he exchanged vows with Nicole in December of 1990. They even adopted two children, Isabella Jane and Connor Anthony, and eventually went on to make two more movies together as a couple. But as we all know, their marriage was far from perfect and they ended up splitting a decade later in 2001. Looking back on the divorce, Nicole said, quote, It took me a very long time to heal. It was a shock to my system. We were in a bubble, just the two of us. We became very very dependent on one another. Number 3. Billy Crudup and Claire Danes The massive scandal started in late 2003. Billy and his girlfriend of 8 years, Mary Louise Parker, who at the time was about 7 months pregnant with his son, broke up. The New York Post reported that the actor had moved on with his stage beauty co-star, Claire Danes, who was only 24 at the time. In the summer of that year, the former co-stars had been spotted getting cozy all over New York City, and even had a very cute looking courtside date filled with PDA. But Billy wasn't the only cheater in that situation as Claire also ended up breaking the heart of her longtime boyfriend Ben Lee to be with the actor. Their love affair didn't last long however and it's clear that all the heartbreak wasn't even worth it because they ended up splitting up just 3 years later. Naturally, the ultra private couple didn't discuss the reason behind their breakup but the tabloids were happy to do so for them. Several magazines even claimed that Danes had left Billy for Hugh Dancy but we'll never really know what happened. Years later, Claire said, quote, I was just in love with him and needed to explore that. I was 24, I didn't quite know what those consequences would be. Number 2. Morena Bakarin and Ben McKenzie The Homeland actress furiously denied rumours that she had been cheating on her husband at the time, Austin Chick. But when she got pregnant by her Gotham co-star Ben McKenzie, there was very little she could do to cover it up. And just like that, the cheating rumours were confirmed. Although the actress tried to shut down the allegations, according to a TMZ report, the divorce papers filed in 2015 by Austin Austin show that he claimed that he was still sharing a bed with Morena when she conceived Mackenzie's baby. She did get a happy ending though and eventually gave birth to Mackenzie's daughter Frances in March of 2016, just two weeks before her divorce from Austin was finalised, and went on to marry Mackenzie in June the following year. But did she at least feel a little bad for sleeping with her co-star while she was married? Well, not really. In fact, she told People magazine that working with him on Gotham was wonderful. Quote, Ben's the sweetest. It's a very 
nice to work with your significant other, especially when you're pregnant because you know you'll get some extra TLC and get taken care of. I mean, yeah, I guess that sounds nice if you can ignore the question of how they met. Number one, John Malkovich and Michelle Pfeiffer. The legendary actor John Malkovich caused intense scandal both on and off the screen when it came to filming 1998's Dangerous Liaisons with his co-star Michelle Pfeiffer. At the time, the actor had been married to actress Glenn Headley for six years, but that completely fell apart in the midst of his affair with Michelle. Interestingly enough, even the film's director, Stephen Frears said, quote, Dangerous Liaisons is about betrayal and lies and relationships unraveling. It was one of those times where reality and art intersect. It was overwhelming to John. Even for a man who delights in bad behavior, that was a difficult time. Not to mention the fact that John's older brother, Danny, told Entertainment Weekly in 1993 that when the actor came home with Michelle, that that was the happiest that he had ever seen him. But even though John and his ex-wife got divorced in 1988, the affair didn't last long either, and they reportedly broke up not long after, but apparently Malkovich took the breakup very hard and reportedly cried for a whole year. The two of them must have really had something special because he told The Guardian in 2008, quote, it's hard to believe Michelle Pfeiffer ever said hello to me. I mean, if you can forget about the fact that he cheated on his wife, it's still romantic the way he talks about Michelle. Number 10, Justin Timberlake and Alicia Wainwright. Justin Timberlake and Alicia Wainwright made headlines when they were spotted holding hands during a night out in New Orleans. The two actors were shooting the movie Palmer, which is a drama about an ex-college football star who returns home after being in prison. The co-stars were photographed together getting cozy at a bar in Louisiana, sitting at a table holding hands and talking to one another. The photos showed Justin, who didn't appear to be wearing his wedding ring, holding hands with the actress under a table and drinking together. At one point, Alicia could be seen resting her hand on the singer's knee, and while he was standing up, putting his arm around her waist. The photos caught caused a huge scandal because he's been married to Jessica Biel since 2012. Their relationship was really being tested and Justin had to make a public statement the following month, apologizing for his strong lapse in judgment and claimed that despite the photos, nothing happened between him and his co-star. Number 9. Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian This affair was not exactly unique, in fact it's a story so common in Hollywood that it borders on cliché. The actors were co-stars who met on the set of a live Lifetime movie called Northern Lights. They immediately hit it off and the flirting began. But the kicker was that they were both already married at the time to other people. But hey, in classic Hollywood fashion, they didn't let that stop them. And not long after meeting, they were photographed having dinner together and the rumor mill did the rest. After extreme press coverage of the affair, both Leanne and Eddie decided to make it official and separated from their respective spouses to be with each other. They eventually ended up tying the knot in 2011. But the story doesn't entirely and there. A few years later, Eddie was caught cheating on Leanne at Wendy Williams' 50th birthday party, but she claims she's unfazed by the whole thing and doesn't seem to mind if he flirts with other women. You know what they say, sometimes how you get them is how you lose them too. Number 8. Helena Bonham Carter and Kenneth Branagh The two are believed to have begun their secret relationship on the set of the film Frankenstein in 1994, which Kenneth played the lead role and Helena played Frankenstein's adopted sister, Elizabeth. At the time, he had been married to Emma Thompson for eight years, who was adored by fans. The two were even dubbed the golden couple by the British press and seemingly had the perfect marriage, which is why the affair caused a massive scandal that rocked tabloids across the nation. They split in 1995 and years later, Emma has admitted that her tearful scenes in Love Actually was so persuasive because she had had her heart broken very badly by Kenneth. It was a little awkward because both actresses had to work together in the Harry Potter films, with Helena playing Bellatrix and Emma playing Professor Trelawney. But in 2013, she revealed that the two had made their peace years ago and that the divorce was old blood under the bridge. But Emma even joked that she and her Harry Potter co-star were both slightly mad and a little bit fashion challenged. And she said, quote, perhaps that's why Ken loved us both. Number seven, Abby Cornish and Ryan Philippe. The actor first met Reese Witherspoon while starring alongside her in the 1999 movie Cruel Intentions. They actually fell so in love with each other that they ended up getting married that same year. But all good things must come to an end, especially Hollywood romances. And in 2008, Ryan started to get closer to his new co-star, Australian actress Abby Cornish, while they were filming the movie Stop Loss. 
The two of them seemed to be so comfortable being seen in public together that they were eventually caught having dinner together in a Texas restaurant despite the fact that there were some curtains around the table. They were also caught together again just outside of Ryan's apartment. The affair was so in your face it really really wasn't funny. But it wasn't until Reese discovered intimate messages back and forth that were being exchanged between the two of them on his phone. Then it was clear that after 7 years of marriage and 2 children, Reese was ready to call it quits with Ryan and later went on to marry talent agent Jim Toth, whilst Ryan and Abby's love affair eventually lost its spark. Number 6 Kerry Russell and Matthew Rees The actors played a secret KGB agents and love interests on the FX spy drama The Americans. The romance between the two sparked while on set but there was just one problem. At the time Kerry was still married to Shane Deary with whom she had two kids. The two leads play like Mr and Mrs Smith and so naturally many believe their steamy scenes were indicative of a real life romance. At the time though they both heavily denied it. When talking about their sex scenes Matthew said quote we We've all done a million of them in this crazy life we sign up for. He said that eventually the clinical element of it kicks in, which sort of takes away from that embarrassment. But it's obvious that there was really something going on, as the two of them were shopping for furniture together at Christmas in 2013. Not long after, Kerry parted ways with her now ex-husband. Unlike most cheating scandals though, this one seemed to turn out quite well, as Kerry, Matthew and Shane reportedly go on vacations together and frequently dine out as friends. Not only that, but in 2016, Kerry and Matthew welcomed their first child together and became a blended family. Number 5 Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott The Beverly Hills 90210 star and her husband Dean McDermott have been making headlines since their scandalous start. The two actors met on the set of Lifetime's Mind Over Murder in 2005, only a year after Spelling married her first husband Charlie Shanian. Dean was also married at the time for more than a decade to Mary Jo Eustace with whom he shares a son. Tori and Dean began cheating on on their spouses the night they met. In fact, she wrote about the affair in her 2009 memoir, quote, It was love at first sight. I fell so hard. Then I noticed he had a wedding ring. When someone asked, he pulled out photos of his children and oh yeah, I had a husband too. Yeah, there's no making that sound better. She went on to say that the couple ended up spending the night together despite the fact that they were both married. And she knew it was meant to be because when she woke up next to Dean the following day, she said she had no regrets. The two married and went on to have four children together before yet another cheating scandal rocked their relationship in 2013, this time with Dean and the nanny. Number 4 Kate Hudson and Owen Wilson The Hollywood stars had a massive cheating scandal while filming the 2006 comedy You, Me and Dupree, most likely because Kate was married to rock musician Chris Robinson for 6 years when she met Owen. The actors had a wild affair that lasted only 6 months but it was definitely long enough to ruin Kate's relationship with her husband forever. Amid the rumours of infidelity, the Black Crows singer ended up filing for divorce from Hudson in November 2006, citing irreconcilable differences and seeking joint custody of their then two year old son, Ryder. A month after the film opened in July, Kate and Owen were confirmed to be officially dating. But the affair didn't seem to stack up to anything as the couple's relationship was short lived, and they broke up less than a year later. As the public started to turn against the actress, she countered the speculation by telling Harper's Bazaar, That's not what happened. But looking back at the 2000 2006 press tour, it was pretty obvious that something was happening between them because it got kind of inappropriate. Owen asked her about wearing a bikini in the film and whether she and her husband have ever had a third wheel experience. Number 3 Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall Many Hollywood romances have started on screen and bled into the real lives of the actors involved. The most iconic has to be that of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. The two engaged in a scandalous affair after meeting on the set of To Have and Have Not back in in 1944. Bacall was only 19 when she first met Bogart, who was already an acclaimed Hollywood star and 25 years older than her. But that wasn't the only issue. At the time, Bogart was married to actress Mayo Method, but their relationship was reportedly falling apart. Bacall confessed in her 1978 memoir that there was no clap of thunder or lightning bolt moment when she first laid eyes on him in 1943. But the actors became close on the set when she was nervous about the production and turned to her co-star for support. Just three Three weeks into filming, the pair shared their first kiss in her dressing room after
after a day of filming and he asked her for her phone number, which she famously scribbled on the back of a matchbook. After that, they began meeting in secret places and using their on-screen names to disguise their identities. Bogart eventually divorced his wife in 1945 and married Bacall just 11 days later. Number 2. Sienna Miller and Daniel Craig Scandal erupted in 2005 when Sienna Miller's confession of love to Daniel Craig was publicly broadcast to the world, while she was still married to Jude Law. The two were co-stars in the 2004 film Layer Cake with Sienna and at some point the two got a little bit closer than they did on screen. But how did the news of the affair get out? Well that's the tricky part. A journalist hacked Daniel's voicemail retrieving a message that came from Sienna's phone number. Both parties tried to discredit the audio tape at first, but when the hearing took place for the hacking trial it was proven to be authentic. Sienna tried to play it off and told the court that she always ended phone calls saying I love you, insisting it wasn't some huge declaration of love. She denied that the message meant she was in a relationship with Daniel, but she did admit to the court that they were briefly involved. Jude reportedly learned of his wife's affair from the newspaper story and called Daniel to confront him because the two used to be close friends. Talk about messy. And coming in at number one, Meg Ryan and Russell Crowe. In the 90s, Meg Ryan had a squeaky clean image thanks to her role as a leading lady in many rom-coms like When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle. But her reputation took a huge hit when it emerged that she cheated on her then husband, Dennis Quaid, with her co-star Russell Crowe. Meg and Dennis had been married for nine years and already shared a son together when she met Russell on the set of the 2000 thriller Proof of Life and the pair had instant chemistry. But the affair reportedly caused awkwardness amongst the cast and crew as the actress didn't even appear on the press tour because she was so worried that they would be asking her about it. In fact, the film's director, Taylor Hackford, blamed the cheating scandal for the film being a flop at the box office. Meg was publicly shamed, especially after she and Dennis officially announced their separation because it allegedly put too much strain on their marriage. When she began dating her co-star, it really changed the public's perception of her as the quirky rom-com lead. In fact, she told The Guardian in 2003, quote, I was all over the tabloids and I walked through the lobby and the place stopped. People stopped talking and stared at me. Goes to show you how sensational the affair was at the time. Starting off our list at number 10 is Demi Lovato and Joe Jonas. The pair met on the set of Camp Rock where their characters sang and fell in love, so naturally, so did they. Demi openly admits to having a crush on Joe throughout their entire filming process, so she was nothing but thrilled when they got together as a real life couple. In her 2017 documentary called Simply Complicated, Demi revealed that their first kiss was actually on camera and that the relationship only lasted a month or two. We didn't really expect more than that. They were kids. But Joe opened up about the relationship and spoke more seriously on it, saying that Demi struggled with a drug addiction when they were dating, even though she was very young. He confessed that he only stayed with her because he felt like he had to help her. He said, I quote, I really got to know her and got to see the ins and outs of what she was struggling with, like drug abuse. I felt like I needed to take care of her, but at the same time I was living a lie, because I wasn't happy, but felt like I had to stay in it for her. Joe and Demi both admit that their love was young and short lived, but they still have a lot of love for each each other as friends. At number 9 is Thomas Doherty and Dove Cameron who fell in love on the set of a more modern Disney movie Descendants 2. Disney fans watched their real life relationship go from 0 to 100 in the matter of a couple months right in front of their eyes. Fans started speculating on the relationship long before they confirmed it on February 16th 2017. The news didn't really surprise anyone. They have been dating ever since and don't try to hide their love for each other in any way. Just look at their Instagrams. During an interview with Access Hollywood, Dove was asked if she'd ever work with Thomas again. Again, and she said it didn't matter because he is the love of her life and she's his partner in real life, which is what matters. Currently, they are being called the cutest Disney couple there is, and yes, at the time of this recording, they are still together. Up next, at number eight is Bella Thorne and Greg Salkin. These two Disney Channel stars have had an on and off relationship throughout the years, and it all started on a Disney set. They met on the set when they both appeared on the third season of Wizards of Waverly Place. They admit to having sparks for each other, you know, that young puppy love, but they didn't date until they were a little bit older. After falling in love while filming, Bella went on to star on her own show Shake It Up and Greg was cast on Marvel's Runaways. They officially started dating in May 2015 and were together for over a year. They were totally couple goals, which is why fans were shocked when they announced that they decided to call it quits. They announced a joint statement to E! News saying, After 
after much thought and soul searching, we have made the difficult decision to end our relationship. We will always love each other and have a deep respect for one another, as we have each grown to be better people because of our time together. Bella later revealed that there was no animosity between them and tweeted out, Things just didn't end up working the way we had hoped, but I'll always love the bub. They got cozy again for a short period in 2017, but it wasn't anything serious, they fooled us, and they just continued on as friends. Coming in at number 7 is Cole Sprouse and Allison Stoner. I gotta be honest here. I didn't even know they dated. That's probably because they were only like 11 years old when they started dating on the set of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. They met while filming and dated throughout the series. Allison revealed on a podcast that her first crush and first boyfriend ever was Cole. They were young throughout the relationship, so their immature breakup isn't all that surprising. Guess how they ended? Through text. Cole sent her a text that simply read, It's not going to work out. Worst part is, he sent the breakup text on her birthday. Real mature Cole. I mean, because they were so young, this is all just kind of adorable to me. Rumors went around that they had another short fling when they were older, but it just didn't seem to work out for them as a couple. She could always try for his twin brother Dylan. Swiping the number six spot is Hillary Duff and Aaron Carter. What an iconic duo at the time. We loved watching Hillary practically grow up on her hit Disney Channel series Lizzie McGuire, but one of our favorite moments from the show was when Aaron Carter did a cameo on the show, which just so happens to be where the two of them fell in love. How could we ever forget the episode? where they kissed under a mistletoe. My 13 year old self was dying inside. Actually, my 26 year old self still is. The kiss soon led to the two of them dating in real life. They were together for over a year and a half before calling it quits. So who was to blame for the heartbreaking split? Aaron. He left Hillary for Lindsay Lohan. I am spilling that tea for y'all right now. But these are cold hard facts you guys. During an interview with Us Weekly back in 2014, Aaron spoke on it. He said, I quote, I started dating Hillary on my 13th birthday. I was dating her for like a year and a half and then I just got a little bored so I went and I started getting to know Lindsay, dating Lindsay. Meanwhile, Hillary has very much moved on and is now happily married with two children. Throughout the years though, Aaron has made comments saying that he will never give up on Hillary and calls her the love of his life. He kept posting these weird and creepy tweets where he declared his love for her. She publicly announced that his comments were making her uncomfortable. So it looks like she will always just be the one that got away. That's what you get for picking Lindsay Lohan. Half of the list at number five is Bridget Mendler and Shane Harper. They were each other's co-stars for years on the Disney show Good Luck Charlie. They openly admit that when they started to film the show together, they really didn't hit it off. They don't have a reason why, they just blame it on the fact that they were 16 when they met and they just didn't click. But two years later, their group of friends started to merge and Bridget says that he was very very persistent when wanting to go out with her, so she agreed to it. After that, the two of them continued to work together and also went on to date for over four years. They seemed as happy as they could be, which is why people were surprised when they ended in 2017. Rumors were going around for a few months, speculating if they were over or not, but then Bridget confirmed it when she told the humor mill, I'm single, so I guess that means I'm undateable. Here we are at number four with Victoria Justice and Cole Sprouse. Apparently Cole got around throughout his time on Disney. But this was just another case of puppy love. The two of them met on the set of The Sweet Life with Zack and Cody where Victoria was a guest on one of the episodes. Remember the episode where Cody accidentally enters a beauty pageant after following a girl named Rebecca into the dressing room? And during their pageant time he became best friends with her? And then he drops out for her so that she can win? There is no way you forget this hilarious and adorable episode. Well, Rebecca was actually played by Victoria Justice and when Cody let her win, she thanked him by giving him a little smooch on the lips. During the filming of this episode, the two of them started to date in real life, as kids of course. And just so you know, this was actually before Cole moved on to Allison Stoner. During an interview for Popstar, she talked about their on-screen kiss, saying it wasn't only their first kiss together, but it was her first kiss ever. And apparently it was filmed in front of a live audience, so it made it that much more uncomfortable. But she also said that even though the relationship didn't last long, they remained friends afterwards. Alright guys, at number 3 is Bradley Stephen Perry and Sabrina Carpenter. Bradley is mostly known for his role on Good Luck Charlie, and she's known for her role on Girl Meets World. They started dating in 2015, and the only reason we found out was because the way he asked her blew up online. He wrote her this adorable adorable note in a bottle. So creative and so cute. All seemed well with the young couple who technically fell in love for being on the set of a Disney Channel interview. We are giving them this honorable mention because they are so cute together. But they didn't work on a show together, but when working with Disney you're often doing other projects and media stuff together in the same proximity. So I decided 
I'm gonna let them on this list. Sadly, their relationship only lasted a short period of time. Neither of them revealed what the exact reasoning was for their split, but it's been said that Sabrina's song, Smoke and Fire, was inspired by the relationship. So she is pulling a Taylor Swift, writing a song about her ex. She's pretty clever for a 19 year old, I gotta say. In spot number two is Miley Cyrus and Nick Jonas. I had mixed emotions when I found out that they were dating. On one hand, I was like super excited because I was shipping them hard for so long, but on the other hand, I was convinced that I was going to marry Nick Jonas, so I was jealous. The two of them met on the set of Miley's show, Hannah Montana, where apparently they fell in love on the first day of filming. It was back in 2006 when they met, and Nick's older brother Kevin said, I quote, When he met Miley, I think that kid's head exploded. Apparently, they started to date the first day that they met. They did not waste any time. They dated for a year, which brought drama because Selena Gomez also liked Nick at the time. It wasn't a nasty breakup though, and later in 2009, rumors were flying that they might be rekindling their relationship. I was so excited. But unfortunately, it was all just rumors. They remained friends throughout the years, but I'm pretty sure 90% of us Disney fans are still hoping that they will end up together somehow, even though he's married. But she just got separated, so like, you never know. Taking the number one spot on our list is Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron, because how could they not? They were our high school sweetheart inspiration. They met in 2005 on the set of the first High School Musical movie where they fell in love and continued to date throughout the three movie series. Their characters Troy Bolton and Gabriella Montez fell in love in the movie, so it wasn't all that surprising when they locked down off camera. They were going strong for a while and we thought it would be a true Disney love story, but the two of them split in 2010 after dating for five years. No reason was ever confirmed until later in 2015 when Vanessa opened up about her relationship with Zach during an interview with the New York Times. She said that the relationship ended up making her really mean and would cause her to lash out. She admitted that Zach wasn't the issue, but it was the crazy obsessed girl fan base that he had. I was one of them. She said, I went through a phase when I was really mean because I was so fed up. Girls were running after him and I was giving them death stares. Then I realized that's not what that's about. Spread the love, be a good person. They support you, be nice. There's no doubt that during that time they were very much in love and to this day they both have very positive things to say about one another. Disney has a way of making people fall in love but then ending on good terms. Number 10, Scott Disick. A cheating scandal involving keeping up with the Kardashians, Whoa, how unheard of. Scott Scott has had his claws dug into the Kardashian family for over a decade, despite his constant bad decision making and partying lifestyle. He appeared as Courtney's boyfriend on the series premiere of the family reality series and has been a chaotic bad in their lives ever since. In season 2, Courtney confronts Scott for the first time following the revelation of a series of texts on his old cell phone to someone whose contact was listed as my wife. This led to their first breakup and was the first instance of a public cheating being outed. Now that wasn't the last one though. The couple would get back together and split over and over and they even had three kids in the process. But Scott has a problem and he can't seem to keep his hands to himself. Literally months after the birth of his third child, he was caught cheating on Courtney with an ex in Costa Rica. <sighs> Scott is still involved in the family unit to this day despite his serial cheating, but his presence on the show brings with it just a cloud of cringe. Number 9, Will Smith. Will Smith is a husband, father, and a professional smack master. In season 3, episode 12 of the reality TV show Red Table Talk, Jada Pinkett Smith invited her husband Will onto the show. During the interview, the topic of infidelity was brought up, and Will confronted Jada about an alleged relationship between herself and a singer named August Alzina during a brief separation between himself and Jada in 2015. Jada was taken back at first, but then went on to break down what really happened on her end. Following this episode, August went online and claimed that he had to have Will's blessing to be in the relationship, despite the pair technically being separated at that time. Now, Will never mentioned this, and Jada just denies that Will ever gave August permission. But when referring to the situation as an entanglement, Will kind of snapped and he made her correct herself to say the word relationship instead. Her show was eventually cancelled along with the rest of the Smith family. Yeah, you guys should have just kept your drama to yourselves. Number 8, Tristan Thompson. Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson were happily together for quite some time until news of Tristan being seen kissing another woman was revealed on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It turns out that Tristan had been seen kissing a woman named Jordan Woods, who at the time was Kylie Jenner's best friend. Khloe's reaction to the event is intense. In clips from the episode, she is seen and heard yelling on a phone and claiming that the scandal had torn her family apart. Okay, 
Not long after that revelation, Chloe seemed to forgive Tristan, but not Jordan. But they both were equally to blame, so like, why be nice to Tristan? They got back together only for him to cheat on her again two years later, and this time the evidence was clear because the woman that he had an affair with birthed his child. Kinda hard to forgive something like that for obvious reasons. They are no longer together, and they're probably better for it. Number seven, Stephen Bear. Celebrity Big Brother is a spinoff of the regular Big Brother reality show in which celebrities are forced to live in a massive air hangar full of furniture from the brick. They compete in various competitions and slowly vote each other out. It's literally a popularity contest. In one season, a celebrity named Stephen Bear, who has basically just been on reality shows, began a steamy fling with his fellow housemate Chloe Kahn, who is a model. They were together on the show for three weeks until one night a little twist came through the door. A twist by the name of Lily Lexi Gregg, Bear's longtime girlfriend and famous fashion designer. She confronted him the moment she stepped into the house. She said she needed to look him in the eyes when she told him what he did to her. Bear looks stunned when she comes in, and it probably doesn't help that he has like a small stack of donuts on his head when she does. It's kind of funny. Lily and Bear were together for several months before he entered the Big Brother house, with Lily claiming that she literally walked him to the front door and had to go home to his family. After learning of the romance sparking in the house, she reached out to producers and she got herself a spot in the hangar. Following the confrontation, Bear dumped Lexi in front of the entire house and the entire world, claiming that the experience made him realize that he wanted to be single and explore possible relationships. Okay, man, oldest excuse in the book, bud. Number six, Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom is a former NBA pro and he was married to Khloe Kardashian in 2009. And it seems Khloe just can't catch a break. In a sneak peek of his new documentary presented by TMZ, Lamar shared the fact that there is still plenty the public doesn't know about his serial cheating during his relationship to Khloe. While married to Khloe, Odom would have a slew of random women come through the house sometimes multiple people at once. He also admits to having full-blown relationships while he was traveling with the NBA. Chloe discovered that Lamar was trying to cover his tracks by using her assistant's phone to message women behind her back. This caused her to go full-blown detective mode. Herself and momager Kris Jenner decided to take matters into their own hands and followed Odom to a hotel where he was caught cheating for the first time. They caught him surrounded by several women while under the influence of heavy substances, and despite this, the relationship continued until 2013 when Chloe finally had enough and called it quits. Lamar has recently come forward calling his actions embarrassing and hopes to reconnect with Chloe in the near future. But he's also claimed to have been with over 2,000 women, so I don't know, maybe maybe she should just steer clear of that one. Number five, Ronnie Ortiz. Ronnie is one of the spray tan minions on the hit reality series The Jersey Shore. The series follows Snooki and her housemates in Jersey Shore. There's, there's like not much to unpack there. Recently, a revival of the series premiered, now being called Jersey Shore Family Vacation. During one episode of the show, Ronnie was seen cuddling and kissing a lady in a hot tub. Oh, what's wrong with this? Well, his pregnant wife was nowhere to be found. Ronnie admitted in a talking head that it was hard having kids on the way and being with someone that you're not sure you should be with. According to him, women were coming up to him constantly and he was sick of denying them the goods. He akin it to being in one of those money machines and it's on but you just keep your hands in your pocket when it starts. Several cast members confronted Ronnie on his behavior and the footage was shared with his wife, Jen. Following this, Ronnie went on air and professed his love for a former girlfriend, not even the girl he was with, from 10 years ago. Snooki even spoke up and told him to move on. Like, that's crazy. As of now, Jen and Ronnie are still together. Here's hoping Jen doesn't want another kid though. Who knows what he'll do now? Number four, Jax Taylor. In season one of the show, Vanderpump Rules, Jax Taylor and Stacey Schroeder had a rocky relationship. <laughs> and the whole thing was documented for us all to enjoy. The allegations of him having an affair with fellow castmate Kristen Doubt, the suspicions grew following Kristen's casual acceptance of Jack's history of cheating. She was Stacy's best friend and confronted the pair on several occasions. Both denied the hookup ever taking place until Stacy was finally able to get Jax to confess live on air. The confrontation created one of the most iconic moments in the Vanderpump Rules history. While Kristen kept denying the entanglement, Jax owned up to his actions and provided details for Stacy and a man named Tom Sandoval who was also dating Kristen at the time. That's right, two cheaters for the price of one. After Stacy was pushed to the brink, she began a physical altercation with Kristen, and when things eventually simmered, Kristen finally admitted the truth and apologized for her mistake. The friendship with Stacy was damaged, but she was thankful to finally know the truth. She no cray cray. Number three, Kelsey Grammer. You may recognize Kelsey Grammer as Frasier from the hit sitcom of the same name, but to fans of the real Housewives of Beverly Hills, he's the one who cheated on Camille. 
Camille. Real Housewife Camille Grammer accused her husband of cheating with Kate Walsh, who is now his wife. The accusation came on season one of the show and it chronicled their quickly declining love life. Kelsey recalls an instance when he had just recovered from a heart attack and suddenly his mother died. Instead of consoling her husband, Camille yelled at him on the day of her funeral and told him that she wanted a divorce, a conversation they had apparently had several times. The truth was Kelsey did cheat on his wife as only two months following his official divorce from Camille, he married Kate Walsh and they're still together to this day. In this case, it sounds like cheating got Kelsey out of a rough relationship. Number two, Dean McDermott. Tori Spelling made a name for herself in the acting world when she portrayed Donna Martin on the show 90210. She met Dean McDermott on the set of Lifetime's Mind Over Murder in 2005, a year after she had married her first husband, Charlie Shanine. Dean was also married when they met and had been for about 10 years. He recounts falling hard for Spelling when they met. Then he noticed her wedding ring. <laughs> Both parties had been unhappy in their marriages, and while their flirting at first had no intention behind it, they eventually woke up together in a room at the Cartier Palace and had no regrets. Well, well, maybe not yet. In 2013, after welcoming their second son into the world, Us Weekly announced that McDermott had been unfaithful to Tori during her pregnancy. The couple aired out their grievances on Tori's reality show, True Tori. However, the scandal only brought them closer together. They began doing couples counseling and have learned to communicate more openly. As of 2023, they seem to be going on strong with zero incidents of infidelity taking place since. Number 1. Hugh Grant Hugh got caught cheating in the most public way possible. In 1995, he was arrested after he was caught getting down with a lady of the night in public. Not only is that rough, but he was dating actress and model Elizabeth Hurley at the time. At first, Elizabeth kept quiet and refused to comment until two months following his arrest. She went on record saying that she felt like she had gotten shot when she heard what he had done. The night lady, Divine Brown, was hounded by the press over and over over for her side of the story, with one outlet even paying her $100,000 for her side. Brown was eventually sentenced for 180 days in jail due to a violation of her probation, while Grant was made to pay a $1,000 fine and attend an education program for uh, you know, medical stuff. During an interview with Jay Leno, Grant went on record claiming that he did abominable things and Liz was amazing about it. Despite what many news outlets were reporting, Elizabeth was very supportive of Grant and the couple tried to work things out. But unfortunately, they officially called it quits in 2000 and now Hugh Grant is a villain for some reason. He's a bad guy in every movie now. Number 10, Will Smith. In 2015, Will Smith starred in a film called Focus, in which he plays a con man in the midst of his latest scheme when a woman from his past, played by Margot Robbie, arrives and throws his plans for a loop. The timing of this film being made could not have been more perfect as we know now that Will and his wife Jada were taking a break at that time. For Jada, this meant an entanglement with August Alzina, weird way to phrase that, and for Will, this meant himself and Robbie were free to rehearse their scenes in private. It was confirmed that Margo and Will were seeing each other during production of Focus, and his wife was not happy about that. Despite being legally married in 1997, the institutionalized concept of tying the knot just never really sat with Jada. So apparently she only married Will because she became pregnant with Jaden and felt that it was the right move to make, which is always a great way to start a marriage. While Jada herself is also a cheater and has publicly admitted it, she has held a grudge towards Margo for eight years with no signs of it stopping. Will and Jada are still together, but we can all agree that their relationship is the Hindenburg and somebody is gonna light a match. If you don't know what the Hindenburg is, just, just Google it. Number 9, Kristen Stewart. His skin was pale and cold, and that is how Kristen likes them. As many of us know, Kristen Stewart starred as Bella Swan in the film adaptation of the Twilight book series. She co-starred with Hollywood hunk Robert Pattinson as her love interest slash vampire Edward Cullen. The onset chemistry spilled into their real lives after it was announced that the two were a couple and the world stood still. These two together, a match made in heaven. How much more perfect could it be? Well, well, turns out it could only be worse. Photos of Kristen kissing a man named Rupert Sanders were published by Us Weekly. Sanders is a director and had been working with Stewart on his upcoming project Snow White and the Huntsman. Not only did Kristen cheat on Robert, but Sanders was married to a model and actress Liberty Ross at that time, so he cheated too. She rightfully filed for a divorce in 2013 and has since gone on to marry Interscope co-founder Jimmy Levine. While Stewart's love life has been much better as she's currently engaged to fellow actor and screenwriter Dylan Meyer.
Meyer, who she met on the set of a film in 2013. Oh, that's so cute. Number eight, Brad Pitt. Brangelina took Hollywood by storm, and when they began their relationship in the late 2000s. What many may not know is that this iconic couple were bred from a disastrous breakup between himself and Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer, best known by me for her role in the 1993 comedy classic Leprechaun alongside Warwick Davis, was actually married to Brad in 2000 after already being together for two years. They spent a million dollars on their wedding ceremony, which took place in Malibu, and everything seemed to be going well until around 2005, when the couple announced to People magazine that they were going to be getting a divorce. Around the same time, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were working on the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith together. Rumors began to fly, and Brangelina was born. The couple officially announced their relationship a few months following the divorce from Aniston. They were married in 2014, but unfortunately, Brangelina also filed for a divorce two years later. The relationship was a flop, but they adopted a bunch of kids, and uh, now they have a decent life, so I guess that's something. Number seven, Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Glenn and Sydney will be sharing a spot on this list as the situations they put themselves in are very similar. You may know Glenn from his role in the recent Top Gun sequel Maverick, and you will recognize Sydney from the hit HBO series Euphoria. These two began filming a rom com together in Australia earlier this year, and it turns out they got along really, really well. After being cast to play romantic interests in the film, the two spent so much time together that it would seem their chemistry had blossomed into a full fledged romance. For a few months, photos of the pair kissing and cuddling both on and off set have been circulating online, and they're adorable. They seem to have a genuine connection instead of some PR force relationship. It sucks though because they were both seeing someone when they met. Powell has been in a relationship with a woman named Gigi Paris, who is a model for three years, and Sweeney was engaged to a very famous businessman named Jonathan Devino, who she had been dating for four years. When they met on set, it was like they stepped into another dimension, and their partners didn't exist anymore, so they were free to be whoever they wanted. Of course, photos and rumors began swirling and in April of this year, Gigi officially announced the end of her relationship to Powell after she discovered the rumors were true and they were in fact a couple. While they may have destroyed their already existing relationships, a new celebrity rom-com couple is sure to rise from their ashes. Number 6, Lindsay Lohan. This one hits home for me as I grew up with a sister around the time that this happened and she was not having it. Aaron Carter is a musician who was very popular in the late 90s and early 2000s. In 2001, he started dating fellow pop star Hilary Duff, who had just just broken onto the small screen with her much-loved comedy series Lizzie McGuire as the titular Lizzie. The couple were together for two years until Aaron suddenly decided that he wanted to date Freaky Friday star Lindsay Lohan at the same time as Hillary. Aaron eventually broke up with both girls by the end of 2003, but he accidentally started a feud that appears to have lasted to this day. While both were obviously mad at Aaron for his part, the young love made them mortal enemies. When Lohan hosted SNL in 2004, she made fun of Hillary on air by getting character actors actor Rachel Dratch to portray Duff during the cold open of the show. Aaron recently attempted to reach out to both Lindsay and Hillary, but he was denied. Rejected, rejected, yeah, you just got rejected. Okay, that, that's a Zoe 101 reference, but I'm just feeling nostalgic today. It has, doesn't have to do with Lindsay. Number five, Kenneth Branagh. You may recognize Kenneth as the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher and the liar from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Gilderoy Lockhart. He met Miss Emma Thompson, the lead of Love Actually, in 1987 while filming the BBC series Fortunes of War, and they were married two years later. They were once the most A-list celebrity couple in England's history, collaborating several times during their marriage. Kenneth directed Emma in a long list of projects over the years, but by 1994, their romance hit a major pothole. While filming his movie adaptation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Brannig began a secret relationship, aka an affair, with Helena Bottom Carter, who had previously worked with Emma Thompson in 1992's Howard's End. At the time of the breakup, Kenneth and Emma expressed to the public that they would be splitting simply due to their busy work schedules. But it later emerged that the split was due to Emma having knowledge of the affair, and in 2016, she revealed exactly how her husband's infidelity affected her. She took this moment and used it to inspire her character's story in Love Actually, which has gone on to be one of her best performances to date. After breaking it off with Thompson, Brannick began dating Bonham Carter until 1999. Kenneth later got married to Lindsay Brunick. Thompson married actor Greg Weiss in 2000. 2003, and Helena Bonham Carter moved on to the king of the macabre, Tim Burton, and had two kids with him before calling it quits in 2014, meaning that she is single and ready to mingle. Number 4, Chad Michael Murray. Many will recognize Chad as the co-star of several rom-coms from the early 2000s, most notably starring alongside Hilary Duff in 2004's A Cinderella Story, which is
is one of the most underrated movies of all time, by the way. Just check it out if you haven't. Chad met a woman named Sophia Bush on set of the series One Tree Hill, in which they play a couple with an on-again, off-again relationship. It turns out their real-life relationship would be just as rocky. The couple actually got married in April of 2005, but ultimately split up only five months later. The breakup followed a massive slew of rumors that Michael Murray had an affair with his House of Wax co-star Paris Hilton. And those rumors later were proven to be true. Paris had been dating Backstreet Boy Nick Carter for a few months when those rumors began to circulate, and he later revealed that his brother Aaron was actually the one that found out about Hilton cheating and told his brother what happened. Paris and Murray were never actually a couple, just the reason for several breaking up. Unfortunately, Bush and Murray had to continue working together on One Tree Hill following the split. Oh wow, that must have been just oh, so much fun. Number 3. Debbie Reynolds A bit of an older entry on this list. We need to address it though. Debbie Reynolds is a well-known Hollywood icon who ran the show during her time on the silver screen. Our younger audiences will recognize her as Grandma Aggie from the Halloween Town series. She appeared in various films over the 60s and 70s, including some alongside her then husband, one Eddie Fisher. Eddie and Debbie were <laughs> Eddie and Debbie, it rhymes, it's cute. Eddie and Debbie were Hollywood royalty during their marriage. Debbie's friend Elizabeth Taylor was also a Hollywood icon at the time, being the lead lady in films like Cleopatra and Cat on the <laughs> and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, which is an aggressive title. When Taylor married her third husband, Mike Todd, Debbie was the maid of honor, and Eddie was Todd's best man. Not long after the wedding, Mike passed away in a plane crash, and Debbie and Eddie were there to comfort her. It appeared that Eddie got a little too comfy though, as himself and Debbie split only a few months later due to an alleged affair that Eddie had had with Liz. After the split, Eddie and Taylor were married, only to get divorced after one year. The feud between Taylor and Reynolds was strong until they reconciled in the early 2000s and even made a TV movie together called These Old Broads. Oh, check it out. Number 2, Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan was the rom-com queen of the 90s. She starred in Hollywood hits like When Harry Met Sally alongside Billy Crystal, You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks, and Sleepless in Seattle, again with Tom Hanks. You may be thinking, is Tom the man that she cheated with? <laughs> well, no. It was actually Russell Crowe. Russell and Meghan were in Ecuador shooting their film Proof of Life when tabloids discovered that Ryan was cheating on her then husband of nine years, Dennis Quaid, with Crowe. The news of the affair broke and spread around the world. Dennis quickly filed for divorce. Meg fought back hard against the allegations that the divorce was entirely her fault, as she claims that Dennis was unfaithful to her multiple times during their relationship. While Meg and Crow ended up calling it quits not long after they got together, the film that brought them closer in the first place bombed hard at the box office, proving that bad press isn't always good press. And at number one, Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny! Jack Nicholson is surely burned into your memory in some way, shape, or form. His turn as the Joker lives rent free in my skull 24 7. From 1973 to 1990, Jack had an on again, off again relationship with Angelica Houston, who you may know as Morticia Adams in the Adams Family movies, or perhaps her role as the head witch in the movie Witches. The relationship finally ended for good after Angelica discovered that Jack was expecting a child with Rebecca Broussard, whom he would go on to star with in several projects. According to Angelica herself, she confronted Jack on set following the news, essentially cornering him in a bathroom so that he wouldn't be able to get away from her. She wailed on Nicholson left and right, and she's quoted as claiming that there was no kicking, but the rest of the altercation made her feel like she was going up against a prize fighter. Jack was apparently very quick on his feet though, dodging shots left and right, and eventually Angelica stormed off in a huff. Nicholson was only married to Rebecca for four years before they officially called it quits in 1994. Well, Hopefully it was worth the savage beatdown brought upon by Angelica Houston. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Ashton Kutcher. Fans will never forget the time in 2011 when he cheated on Demi Moore with a woman who was much younger than her. Photos leaked online showing Ashton partying with a 22 year old blonde girl in his bedroom at the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. The photos could not have come at a worse time either as it was his wedding anniversary of six years with Demi. Demi. The worst part was Demi actually remembers the day that he met his mistress, Sarah Leal, and explained it in her memoir. She said that they were actually at a bowling alley with their daughter, and when Ashton went to switch out their shoes, Sarah came up, flirted a little bit, and gave her phone number to him on a napkin. 
Demi wrote, when we got home that night and he showed it to me, I said, that is just gross. We were there with our kid. She said that he told her there was nothing to worry about. So when he eventually had the affair with her, it was just like a real slap in the face. Uh, not long after that, they announced their split. Disgusting. Coming in hot at number nine, we have Justin Timberlake. I was absolutely devastated when I saw these scandalous pictures on the internet because I love his wife, Jessica Biel, and like, how do you do her dirty like that? I thought they were perfect together. But turns out their marriage isn't all glitz and glam, and in 2019, we got to see one of the reasons why. Photos leaked online showing Justin getting a little too cozy with his co-star at the time, Alicia Wainwright. The pictures were taken in New Orleans where they were filming, and one night they decided to take the night off filming and go out to a bar. They went to a local bar, and in the pictures, you can see him holding her hand, her putting her hand on his leg, all very super flirty stuff. But what fans also realized was that he was not wearing his wedding ring. For obvious reasons, this sparked huge cheating rumors, but Justin released a public statement saying that nothing happened further than what we see in those photos. Jessica did decide to stay with him um, and they have worked through it and they are together to this day. Would you forgive him? Like, do you think holding hands and flirty touching, like, is that crossing the line of cheating? I'm curious, let me know. Yeah, don't touch anyone. I saw. Up next, number eight, we have Kevin Hart. Another cheating scandal that sent people over the edge was in 2017 when video footage leaked online with Kevin and another woman that was not his girlfriend or wife. After the footage went viral, the internet started claiming that he had cheated on his wife who was eight months pregnant at the time with their son. At first, Kevin was denying all of these rumors, but then he landed himself in the middle of an extortion attempt. Someone started alleging that they had a possession of a video of him getting sexual with another woman and threatened to expose the video if he did not pay them. His wife, Aniko, later talked about how she felt about the situation and how she found out about it in the first place. She said it was actually through a DM message on Instagram. Her exact words were, I quote, I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I was having breakfast and I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it as most people would. Kevin finally admitted to it and released a public apology to his wife and his family and the two of them worked through it and they are still together. We out here girls, we out here just freaking throwing forgiveness around, aren't we? Mm. Mm. Girls cheat too though, so don't think I'm just on the guys or the girls side. In spot number seven, we have Leanne Rhimes, One of the biggest cheating celebrity scandals of all time. She cheated with her co-star at the time, Eddie Sabrian, back in 2009 when they worked together on the movie Northern Lights. Their relationship seemed to move past the co-star stage and they had a secret relationship going on behind closed doors. At the time of the cheating scandal, Leanne was married to dancer Dean Sheremet for nine years and Eddie was married to a model named Brandy Granville. Everyone was shocked to learn about the relationship and the only reason anyone found out was because it was caught on camera. Surveillance footage from a restaurant was leaked online and showed the two of them having dinner together and then kissing and holding hands. Even though there was very valid proof in this video, the two of them still denied infidelity and continued to say that they did not cheat. And honestly, that just made people more angry. Like, how are you even gonna deny it? Like, just apologize? Hello? It's on video. I hate that. I hate that. Cruising into number six is Marlon Wayans. It was in 2013 when the unfortunate scandal forever changed his relationship. The actor was caught red-handed cheating on his wife after pictures leaked online of him hanging out with a mystery woman. In the series of pictures, you could see him having romantic moments with a woman in a yacht in St. Bart's. Apparently, he thought that he could get away with it if he went on vacation and tried to isolate themselves. After the picture surfaced, the two of them eventually split up and in 2016, the actor finally spoke about it. He said when his wife found out and their children, they all physically attacked him. He said it put a huge wedge between their family. The good news is after their split, they were able to build a solid relationship to at least co-parent their kids together. In more recent interviews, he has talked about his former wife and said he has the utmost love and respect for her and said that he thinks of her as family and always will. Halfway through 
your list. At number five, we have Kristen Stewart. I feel like I talk about this scandal all the time on this channel because it was a big deal at the time when it happened. So I talk about it a lot. It was making the cover of magazines and headlining titles everywhere. No exaggeration. If you don't know the drama or you forgot about it, let me fill you in because I know the story like no tomorrow. Back in 2011, Kristen was dating her Twilight co-star Robert Pattinson and everyone thought they were gonna get married and have beautiful children like they did in the Twilight series. But then paparazzi photos surfaced and showed Kristen making out with another man. But the man in the story was also a very scandalous thing because it was her director from her movie, Snow White and the Huntsman, and he was married. He was 41 years old at the time and she was only 22. And he was married to a Liberty Ross who was also the mother of their two children. So obviously it was a huge shock to everyone involved. Kristen and Rob split immediately and it broke the hearts of millions of fans, including me. Like I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. I was so upset. At one point in the photo, she's in the car making out with him and like she blatantly looks at the camera who's taking the pictures and like smiles and keeps making out with him. Like, I feel like she wanted to get caught. Moving on to spot number four, we have Tristan Thompson. He got caught cheating on more than one occasion. So really, he should be on here twice. The first time was the worst though. Security footage leaked online from a nightclub that he was at and showed him getting handsy and kissing another woman. He decided to cheat at the worst possible timing ever. Not that there is ever a good time for that, but his girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian, was in the hospital about to give birth to their daughter. The video leaked while she was literally in labor pretty much so thanks if those videos weren't bad enough other videos also surfaced showing him going into a hotel room later that night with the same woman from the nightclub video <laughs> chloe forgave him and stuck by his side but then later down the road it was revealed that he cheated again with kylie jenner's best friend jordan woods who was basically like a little sister to chloe like solid man, great. Have fun explaining that to your daughter one day. In our third spot is Balthazar Getty. His affair took place back in 2008 and caused a lot of drama in Hollywood. He was married to Rosetta Millington when photos surfaced and showed him having an affair with actress Sienna Miller. At the time, he remained silent on the matter and he and Rosetta separated for two years but they eventually reunited and he says that Rosetta, who's also the mother of his four children, forgave him and gave him another chance. He finally opened up about it and spoke about it during an interview in 2016, where he called the affair ancient history and said it was in another lifetime for him. He explained that he and his wife took the space that they needed and that when they came back together, their marriage was stronger than ever. As for Rosetta, she was open about the subject in 2010 when she took him back as many people just asked her why she would do that. She talked about it during interviews and said, it was a very challenging time for everybody involved, but I loved and missed my family too much not to make it work. Yeah, that will get you. Missing your children, missing them. It's a tough one when family is involved, eh? Taking over our number two spot is Eddie Fisher. His affair with Elizabeth Taylor was a celebrity scandal of the ages. The two stars met through Debbie Reynolds, Eddie's first wife, who was friends with her since high school. Eddie's son, Todd Fisher, talked about his father's affair while promoting his memoir in 2018 and said that it ruined his father's career. At the time of the affair, Todd says he was too young to understand the love triangle that was going on, but said the effects of it impacted the rest of their lives as well as his father's bank account. In his book, he said the high profile affair caused an insane tabloid frenzy and said they were both slammed in tabloids for the relationship that came out after the affair. Elizabeth and Eddie were married from 1959 to 1964. And while he may have been happy with Elizabeth at the time, his career greatly suffered after he left Debbie Reynolds. Todd wrote that his dad had contracts canceled due to morality clauses and that his career was completely wiped out. Earning the number one spot is Hugh Grant. Cheating on your spouse is not illegal, but doing it in a public place might be if you are engaging in sexual activity when you shouldn't be. The actor was arrested for his cheating scandal, which took place back in 1995. He was caught having sex in public with a sex worker who paid him $60 to perform intimate things on him 
If you know what I mean, we are keeping it PG so that we do not get shut down, okay? You know what I'm trying to say. His arrest and mugshot was a massive scandal in itself. Even if he was single at the time, it would have made headlines. But at the time, he was actually dating Elizabeth Hurley, which made everything way worse. But despite the fact that he cheated, she did stay with him for five years. But after that, they eventually broke up down the road. She was able to move forward though and make a joke about it on her show, The Royals. Her character hired a male escort who called himself Huge Grant. <laughs> Got some funny karma. And at number 10, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was on top of the world until a massive cheating scandal derailed his entire career. In 2009, he became a billionaire, but in the same year, everything changed after his wife, Elin Nordegren, learned that Tyler had been cheating on her for years. It started when the tabloids exposed that he was having an affair with a nightclub manager named Rachel Yuchatel. Then a few days after that, he crashed his car in front of his mansion. It was rumored that his wife chased him out of their house. After all this was revealed, countless more women came came forward, revealing they had also cheated with Tiger. Tiger addressed everything in a statement saying, quote, I was unfaithful. I had affairs and I cheated. What I did was unacceptable. I hurt my wife, my kids, my mother, my wife's family, my friends, my foundation, and kids around the world who admired me. Then in 2010, the couple got a divorce and Tiger's golf performance tanked for years after. And at number nine, Ashton Kutcher. While Ashton Kutcher was married to Demi Moore, he was caught red-handed cheating on her. This all went down in 2011 when paparazzi photos exposed that Ashton was partying with a 22 year old blonde girl in his bedroom at the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. Things were made even worse by the fact that the photos were leaked right before him and Demi's six year anniversary together. The craziest part of the story is that Demi actually knew who the other woman was and explained the meeting in a memoir. Apparently their whole family was at a bowling alley when Ashton went to change his shoes. The girl then gave Ashton her number on a napkin. Apparently Ashton actually showed her the number that night and they joked about how funny that it was. Ashton made it seem like she had nothing to worry about but sadly that was not true and Ashton did get into contact with this girl. They divorced shortly after. And at number eight, Justin Timberlake. I could probably make an entire list on just Justin Timberlake's cheating because he's been caught a number of times doing scandalous things with other women. The most recent incident of Timberlake getting caught red-handed took place in 2019. While well, married to Jessica Biel, photos were leaked showing him getting handsy with his co-star at the time, Alicia Wainwright. The pictures were taken in New Orleans while they were filming when they all decided to go out on their night off. They went to a local bar and in the pictures you can see him holding her hand, her putting her hand on his leg and all around his super flirty stuff. Fans also pointed out that Justin also wasn't wearing his wedding ring. For obvious reasons, this started a huge cheating rumor mill, but Justin released a public statement saying that nothing happened further than what everyone saw in the photos. Yeah, right. Jessica decided to stay with him and work through things. And at number seven, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is another Hollywood star that has been labeled a serial cheater because of his infidelity while married to both of his wives. The worst was when he was caught cheating on his pregnant wife, Iniko Parrish, in 2017. This was exposed in a video where you could see Kevin getting in the back of a car with another woman. After the footage went viral, the internet started claiming that he had cheated on his wife who was eight months pregnant. Then some more footage was released that seemed to be a tape showing Kevin cheating on his wife well in the act. Apparently the footage was filmed as an extortion attempt. His wife Aniko later talked about how she found out about it in the first place. She said it was through a DM message on Instagram. Her exact words were quote, I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I was having breakfast and I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it. Kevin finally admitted to it and released a public apology to his wife and family, and the two of them worked through it and are still together. And at number six, Khloe Kardashian. These two were not married when Tristan cheated, but they were in a long-term relationship with a child on the way. I'm sure we all know by now, but third trimester Tristan earned that name from when he was caught on tape cheating on Khloe days away from her giving birth. Although the cheating was exposed months later, the footage was taken at a hookah lounge in Washington, D.C. in 2017. And the footage is pretty bad. It shows Tristan with two girls, one he is making out with, and the other is grabbing his junk. And just when it couldn't get any worse, more footage came out showing Tristan taking a different girl into his hotel room months later. So clearly this wasn't the only time that he was cheating, and he wasn't really that discreet about it either. Halfway number five, Ryan Garcia. Ryan was not only caught cheating on his fiance, he was caught on camera. A paparazzi video showed Ryan and Malu Trevejo making out outside of a restaurant. And things got nasty when his pregnant fiance, who we already shared one child with, called out both of them online. His fiance posted on her Instagram that she was away visiting her family and thought Ryan was training. 
but sadly he was out cheating. After this, Malu made her own apology video, saying that she knew that he had a kid, but she didn't know that he was engaged or had another baby on the way. And as a last ditch effort to save his reputation, Ryan made his own statement on Instagram, writing that him and his fiance Andrea were not engaged at the time, but they were still together and he was caught up in the moment. And at number 4, Kristen Stewart. This cheating scandal not only broke up a relationship, but it destroyed the fantasy that was created over the course of the massive film franchise, Twilight. Back in 2011, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson were dating, and everyone thought they would end up married because of their on-screen love story. But that all changed when a paparazzi video showed Kristen making out with her director from the movie Snow White and the Huntsman, who was married. He was 41 years old at the time, and Kristen was only 22. The Twilight fandom was devastated, even more so when Rob and Kristen split following the cheating. One part of me was devastated back in the day, but Kristen also looked like she was in pain like every time they kissed, so I mean, not so much of a long shot that they would break up. And at number 3, Dixie D'Amelio. Griffin and Dixie were the hot new TikTok couple after they started publicly dating, but that changed pretty fast when it was revealed that Griffin was cheating. Dixie did not take it lying down and decided to make a savage TikTok video exposing all the receipts. In the short video, viewers see snippets of tons of flirty conversations Griffin had with other girls, where he made his intentions very clear. One of these Snapchats shows Griffin clearly saying that he's single, as well as others when he's talking about flying girls out to LA to see them, and is clearly talking about hooking up with them. Then Dixie shows the super lengthy text message that he sent to her apologizing for the cheating, with a message reading in part that he knows he was wrong and hurt her, but he still cares about her. Thankfully, she didn't accept the BS and dumped him immediately. And at number 2, Hugh Grant. This might be the worst case of cheating because not only was it unethical, the cheating was also illegal too. This took place back in 2005 while Grant was with Elizabeth Hurley. Hugh Grant was arrested after police discovered that he was getting intimate with a woman he paid $60 to. This is one of those cases where the news of the act would have made headlines even if he wasn't cheating with another huge actor. But despite the fact that he cheated, she stayed with him for 5 years after that but they eventually broke up down the road. Thankfully she's been able to move on from it and has a great sense of humor. Apparently the former couple are actually even still close to this day. And finally number 1, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is another cheating scandal that broke the internet because it was something straight out of a movie. Many years after it happened, it was exposed that Arnold cheated on his wife, Maria Shriver, with their housekeeper. Even worse, she got pregnant after the affair and had a child that Arnold kept hidden from his family. The affair was kept on the low until 2011 when the LA Times uncovered the story. Apparently the affair was revealed in couples therapy. Maria was suspicious and Arnold fessed up to it. Apparently Maria was suspicious about their relationship after he met the housekeeper's son and he looked identical to Arnold. Arnold also issued an apology to his wife and children when the news broke out saying that he was quote truly sorry for what happened with the housekeeper named Mildred. Arnold and Maria divorced shortly after this news. Arnold reportedly knew about the child named Joseph Baina and even financially supported him without Maria knowing.